Hello everyone and welcome to the video where Hendrik will explain some ping problems. I searched through some old um, stream footage of Hendrik and that was a lot actually and I discovered some interesting infos because so many people always complain about the ping problem and Hendrik always claims there is no ping problem. So please listen to what Hendrik has to say and if you are a player from America, Australia or whatever so please share your experience with the ping system, with the ping normalization system uh, in the comments. I myself just experienced, um, I have a very good ping because the server is in London and I'm in uh, near, near Munich. So it's basically very fast. But through the ping normalization system, I, I don't really think I have any advantage at all, but I'm, I'm not sure about that. But um, like Henrik said, it doesn't make a difference. So please, your opinion matters, but now let's hear what Henrik has to say about that. Is it true that the game server will be moved to North America, or is that a rumor? No, we don't plan to move anything, so... Uh, so we're building a worldwide server solution, right? As, as many of you know. We've been working for a few years on the technology alone, the network solution. Uh, and included with that is a system that is a uh, prediction system and a ping normalization system. And that is in place because we want it to be a large, huge, realistic world that just grows, you know, over time with the various uh, continents. We want all players in the world to be able to participate, meet up, and just have a unique gaming experience. A little bit like Evil Line, but obviously a little bit different because we're also a first person and a fantasy and a more real time. Um, calculated MMO. Uh, so that means, you know, the end goal isn't where the server is with the system in place. The end go goal is that the whole world connects on, on the same terms. <clears throat> and we've gone extremely far so far when it comes to these systems that makes ping not uh, the same way as any other game you play typically. Like when you're playing Counter-Strike, you look on the ping, if you have 20, you're good. If I have 150, you don't want to play there, right? That is not the same comparison in our game. And that is why we built and spent so much time into the ping normalization and prediction system. And that is why we, some of our best PvP players are from America and not Europe. And the game servers currently is in Europe. And that is also why there is no difference between 5 in MS and 100 MS. Because even though you have 5, you won't be utilizing that 5 uh, connection MS uh, because of the ping normalization system, it won't accept actions faster than uh, five. You know, you will be more around the hundreds, which means if you're playing against someone with hundred or five, it's the exact same difference. So when when it starts to get even higher slowly, then obviously there's you know errors that's going to get affected, and that's kind of unavoidable. But you can adapt to it and learn it without much efforts. And where it's mostly is noticeable is on the pairing side because there's no as easy way to simply have a system that kind of handles the pairs way the same way as you do a swing. So the server is always king and, and it confirms between every player. So when you swing something, you're swinging that in the same location as anyone else. But like I said, when you're starting to get it out of very bad latency, which means, you know, you're sitting in a... In a jungle and have a bad connection that's that's a different question uh, so so that means if we move the server to america 90 percent won't notice a difference at all um, so what we're looking at again is still trying to push that further and tweak uh, our systems and also looking on into different types of technology like Starlink, etc., that can bring down the overall latency even further. Things like that is what we're looking into as well. Um, we also have built out our system to be very scalable and, and dynamic, uh, which could mean that we could um, have some parts of the world land, world land in uh, another continent, and it's it's optional, you know. You can still travel anywhere you want, but if you really have problems or living in those areas where it's simply not good enough, 
you may have a, a, a second option to help. Uh, so yeah, that, that is kind of the, the big picture when it comes to our world solution. We have a surprisingly huge and growing uh, player base from Australia. And yeah, they're pretty much in the worst spot when it comes to distance and latency. But the absolute majority uh, works within this uh, ping normalization because that is kind of where we had a threshold, you know, one of the more difficulty challenges. And, you know, they, they, they can react, they can compete uh, as long as they have a reliable, stable connection. And then there's a few Australians that seems to have an even worse connection from Australia somewhere that is um, being a little bit more affected in different ways. And um, you now, right now, we are tightening the system that you know fully monitoring the, all the connections to the servers. If your connection is dropping packets, being too unreliable, or for some reason your packages is not going back and forth as it should, you will be disconnected. Uh, that is a safety system for the game and to protect the gaming experience. Obviously, that, that could mean that if you're unlucky having one of those bad connections that simply are very far away from the server, you know, then obviously we need to look into that case and, you know, we can't solve the impossible when it comes to if that is the case. Um, if you have wireless from Australia, that is a bad situation, you know. There's been a few of those cases, far from optimal. And if that means that you're, you know, warping around because of the packages being way too bad, that won't be the case when we have updated the monitoring system for connections because we simply can't allow it, as you can understand. If the connection is too poor, uh, it, there will be a disconnection. And that is also, again, to protect the game to make sure packages going back and forth as they should. So Henrik finally stated that NA players don't have a reason to complain more or less about the ping. I think we uh, we will get craftable pet bags for Haven creatures. Yes, I forgot to clip that, but to answer that last question, yes, you will be able to craft pet bags, even more pet bags for uh, not even be not only beers, even for smaller animals and stuff, but that will come over time and so on. So please leave your ping experience below, would be awesome. Merry God, so special thanks to all the patrons, watchers, comments, for so slum for game wall, but tip me, don't skip on this part of the next video, you and all the others, of course. So always remember to ping hard and see you next time. Goodbye.